Good morning. If you're catching me live, please put in the comment section live, hashtag live. If you're catching me on the replay, please put in the comment section hashtag replay. Hope you all are having a wonderful morning. Excuse me while I make some adjustments. Good morning. Is that my sister Denise Walker? Hey. <laughs> hey. So good to see you this morning. Hello, hello, hello. So good to see you. Um <clears throat> Hello everybody. For those of you that don't know, my name is Terza Andrews. It's my pleasure to be with you this morning. Good morning to all of my followers. Yes, yes. Um, good morning. I just wanted to come on and uh, give you all three things that you need to do going into this uh, new year. For some of us, it'll be um, crossing into January the 1st. Others, it'll be uh, in March. So, um, for those of you that are crossing over into January and you're doing your new year's resolutions and all of that kind of stuff, make sure it's something that you can stay, uh, focused on. Okay. <laughs> and do it diligently. But the three things I wanted to talk to you this morning was about, uh, the three things that you need to do, uh, going into 2021 to prepare yourself for the year. Now we know we've had a hard time, um, through 2020 with this uh, COVID and all of this kind of stuff, stuff that's going on. We, we, we've lost loved ones with a lot of things happening. People are bombarded with uh, Christmas and uh, making sure that they get Christmas gifts. I hope you all don't be crying coming in the new year. But if you do, I have a solution for you to start making some money, okay? So what I want you to do is, number one, uh, begin to jot down the things that you desire, the things that you want for your life. Now, there is a plan uh, that's already set out. There's a blueprint already set up, out for you. And you just have to make sure that you connect, okay? Uh, number two, you need to connect with those that are already working in the system on the platform so that uh, you can get the information. Now, it's a step-by-step -step method, one, two, three, A, B, C, and you can utilize this system to brand yourself. You can utilize this system to earn extra income. You can utilize this system to teach you how to do uh, uh, attraction um marketing. You can use this uh, system to start a new business. It's a lot of different things that you can do with this system and this platform that I'm mentioning today. So if you want more information, please put in the comments section um, more info. Okay. Just put in the comment section more info. So number one, you need to make a conscious decision about what you want to do, okay, coming into the to the new year. Number two, you need to have a plan of action going into the new year. And number three, you need to connect with me, okay, <laughs> and uh, put in that comment section more info for the information that I have for you. And I've explained to you the things that this uh, platform can do for you, and I'm going to invite you to our uh, Wonderful Wiz Day webinar, which starts tonight at 7 p.m. So if you would, go into my store and get the information about uh, the webinar for uh, Wednesday night, uh, tonight. And um, I'm inviting you as my special guest, so make sure you come on out. Thank you so much for uh, dropping by. I just want you to know that there is a plan of action in place. The blueprint has already been made for you. As you know, I've made over $3,100 on this platform, and uh, I'm doing it from my home. I don't have to leave my house. I can do it in my car. I can do it on my back porch. I can do it in my bed. <laughs> I don't have to uh, get dressed for work. I could come to work looking like this so I can lay in my pajamas all day. And so uh, if I could do it, you can do it too. Another thing before I go, <clears throat> I want you all to understand that uh, I'm here because I recognize my divine purpose. And when you're trying to uh, live a life on purpose with purpose, it's necessary that you connect with people on an um, authentic uh 
in an authentic way, meaning you have to show yourself. And uh, there's a word that says to uh, study to show thyself approved. A workman not needed not be ashamed. You don't want to be ashamed uh, of who you are. You got to work through your, those issues. You want to make sure that you have the knowledge that you need moving forward into this new year. You want to make sure that you're connected with people that are like-minded and you want to be able to have the things that you need in order to move forward. Yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, you're going to have hard days. Everybody wants the easy way, but things don't come easy that's worth working for, okay? So I want to encourage you today to don't um, be afraid of work. Okay, don't be afraid of, of of doing the work. Some things they can become mundane. Some things can become tedious. You know, but you have to make sure that whatever you decide to do, that you're going to stick to it. You're going to stick to it until you see results. And when you see those results, make sure you share it with somebody else to help them come out of the rut that they're in. It's no uh, good feeling to. Um, be especially in uh husband and wife situations where you know the wife cr created to meet the needs of the husband right it's not a good feeling to be with that husband or with that uh wife or being that wife and not being able to participate in the functionality of the family you want to be able to help meet the needs of your husband you want to be able to meet the needs of your children that proverbs 31 woman she is the one that forever keeps her hands busy, you know, she don't let her candle go out, you know what I'm saying, she's not um, uh, bombarded with idleness, she's busy, and so I want to encourage every woman that's watching me today to know that there is a way that you can participate in your household, from your home, to still be able to do the things that your family needs, to still be able to be there for your husband and your children and those around you. Um, it's very important to know that your family loves you and they need you. They need you, need you to have a sound mind. They need you to be physically well, spiritually well, and economically sound so that you can feel like you are uh, adding to the family, you know, being able to be that shoulder that they can lean on. But also uh, we want to get to the place as mothers uh, to be able to communicate with our children other ways uh, that we can help them through their lives. I've seen so many uh, mothers and daughters against each other. I've seen husband and wives against each other. I've seen uh, um, marriages destroyed because of finances. I've seen relationships between, between brothers and sisters uh, um, uh strange strange and strange because of you know the monies you know what i'm saying and you don't want to have issues uh in your life dealing with people that have taken from you but you want to put yourself in a position to be always be a giver and not to have people take advantage of you see but the more you give out i truly believe that the more you give is more given to you there's so many funds that go through my hands but because they come to my hand that doesn't necessarily mean they're just for me sometimes they're for somebody else me coming into this platform wasn't just for me it was for somebody else too and so it's good to set monies aside to save it's money to, uh, it's good to set monies aside for your your future and begin to plan your future and, and things of that nature, learning how to give 10% to yourself and 10% to wherever you give your worship and um, to pay yourself. People need to learn how to pay themselves. You know, I wasn't doing that. I get my money and I just immediately give it all away or I immediately uh, sow it into other things. And I learned how to invest in myself in a way that's going to uh, create a lifetime a lifetime of, um, of finances for my family. And so I'm here to teach you all to do the very same thing. Uh, I appreciate all of you for following me and being friends with me and listening to me and connecting with me and allowing me to be who I am. See, because if I'm not who I am, then you're not going to be able to connect with me. The people that are really supposed to be connected with me, they're not going to be able to gravitate towards me because... They see me as something else, something different. But this is Sister Teresa. What you see is what you get. Um, my authentic self, I'm not perfect. 
I do things uh, out of order sometimes, and I have to be checked as well. And so um, I just want you all to understand that I love you and I appreciate you for um, uh, friending me. I appreciate my family. For those of you that pray for me and and support me through my walk and changes in my life who helped me become the woman that I am today. And I just want you all to know that nothing is done without purpose and reason. And I just want you to know that I appreciate you all for being there for me. Join us tonight at 7 p.m. in our webinar and just know that you're the key to someone else's blessing. And don't you ever forget it. I'll see you this uh, evening at 7 o'clock. And uh, remember that you are worth it. God bless you.